I just wanted to show you guys some of the crochet hooks that I've been through so far. Um, these two wooden ones are different brands and that's why they look similar but are not the same. I actually have these in the order that I purchased them or received them. Um, I started with this wooden hook here and I gradually worked my way to this blue hook here which I just received today and I'm going to um, just pick up a yarn that I don't particularly love and I'm going to use each hook and talk about the reasons why I no longer use that hook or do use that hook today. So this was the first hook that I used. I think it's a Lion brand hook. I got it at Walmart in a pack of three and I broke one of them. I believe I broke the five millimeter hook. This is a six millimeter hook. And I'm just gonna do double crochets. This hook drags and bends a little bit when I use it. I can feel it um, as I put tension on the hook. I can feel that it's given me a little bit, the wood is giving me a little bit of a bend, which isn't something that I noticed when I used to use this hook on a regular basis. This was my regular hook for um, several months when I first started crocheting again as an adult. It grabs this yarn pretty severely. As you can see, I'm having all kinds of issues. But this was a good hook to learn on. Um, I learned a lot of my first stitches on this hook. The next hook I received as a gift it was originally purchased on Amazon, and it's just um, a hook that was made in China. And if you compare the two hook points, or the two hook tips, <clears throat> the Lion Brand hook has more of a pronounced groove than the hook made in China. And it's a little bit smoother. I'm going to crochet half a row with this hook. I don't think I'm going to get very far. Um, I wasn't a fan of this hook just because it doesn't grab the yarn very well and it splits the yarn pretty severely, I noticed. I just have trouble with this hook. I have to slow down. It's not a terrible hook. If it was your first hook, I could see where maybe you could get used to it and crochet quite a bit with it, but it still has a lot of drag. I can feel the handle um, bending a little bit with tension, just like the other wooden hook. I don't think it's going to break or anything, but I can feel it um, giving with the tension that I'm putting on, just with the tension I'm putting on the yarn. I'm a tight crocheter, so that's another reason why I have a lot of tension on my yarn. I didn't use this hook. I pretty much... I received it and decided that I liked another hook better 
and I just used the other hook instead. I'm just gonna chain two and put that hook down. The next hook I'm, I'm gonna show you was the boy hook. You can see that I have wrapped the handle in gaffer tape. It's the same tape that you would use on a hula hoop to get grip on a hula hoop. I just had some um, lying around because I used to make hula hoops. And um, it comes in different colors, but the reason why I used it on my crochet hook is because after a while of crocheting with this hook, my hand would start to sweat a little bit and slip on this aluminum. So I put gaffer tape around my hook and then I was able to crochet for hours and hours longer. I used this hook for several months. It's a lot smoother than a wooden hook would be. It doesn't have as much drag, but it is aluminum, so it squeaks. You can hear the yarn going through. But this is a great hook. Um, I made some intricate designs with the five millimeter. I um, was able to do a lot more with this hook as a beginner than I thought I was ever going to be capable of crocheting. Um, it's not a perfect hook. It I. Just, there are things that I don't like about it. It's the shape of the head of the hook is really wide compared to other hooks of this size. But it does a fine job of grabbing the yarn and getting the job done. This hook was originally purchased at Walmart. And I'll leave links to you guys for all of these hooks that I am going to show you. The next hook I'm going to show you, I love this hook. This is a prim hook in the size five millimeter. And it is like crocheting with air. <laughs> it weighs almost nothing compared to every other hook that I have used. This is a plastic hook, and I didn't know if I was going to like the plastic or not, and I ended up loving this hook so much that I'm actually going to gift it to a friend of mine who's learning to crochet because I want him to love crochet, and I think this is a great hook to learn on. I think this is the hook to learn on if you're a new beginner. Because it's an it's a step up from the boy hook. You get the ergonomic features with the wider handle. But it's got it's gonna have a consistent shape to it. So each hook is gonna be the same and it has this it has a deeper groove in the hook of the handle or the hook itself and it just grabs the yarn and holds it so well. You notice that I crocheted that and didn't have a single problem. Um, it just, I, this was the first hook that I crocheted all night long and I had a finished project in the morning that I was just so happy with. The next hook that I tried was a Furls Streamline hook in resin. This is the Andromeda hook. These come in a lot of different colors. I also have the Polaris. And this was one of their mystery seconds. You don't know what the design is with a mystery second. You kind of have to just look at it and guess from their history. This, I think, is a cafe or coffee or mocha maybe. I'm not sure what the, I can't remember all of the names, 
but this hook was gifted to me by my mother and it was one of the mystery seconds and I can't find anything wrong with it. I think that the um, the label might be slightly offset from the hook, but other than that, it's a it was in perfect condition and came at a discounted price. So yay for rules. Um, this is the Andromeda, and I don't know if I like the shape of the hook of the streamline or not. It seems a little long compared to other hooks, so I have to pull further through my project in order to get my hook out. The head of the hook just has a little bit more yardage to it, it seems like. Um, it's longer right through here than other hooks that I've used, and I just can't seem to get used to it. But other than that, this the streamline I think is such a fun hook because it, I they make such great gifts because they come in such beautiful colors. They have so many different colors. They have your zodiac sign if you wanted to get if you were a Leo and you wanted a set of Leo hooks. They have them in it's like this really pretty amber color. Um, I'm just having a little bit of an issue with the length of the tip of the hook because I'm not used to crocheting with these hooks. I think if I crocheted with them more, I wouldn't be having any issues at all. This is a great hook. I love furls. They're such a great company. They really, they work with a um, specialist in hand ergonomics to design their hooks. I'm going to put that one down and move on to the next. I was kind of having fun with that one. I wanted to do the whole row. The next hook I found is the hook that I use every day. But unfortunately, it's been discontinued. Um, the maker of these hooks, these are handmade hooks and the maker has decided to retire. So we have to say goodbye to the Furl's Odyssey. That's what this hook is. Um, they are still doing one more restock of the Furl's Odyssey, and then they're going to release some of the imperfect Odysseys that didn't quite meet their quality control standards at a discounted price later this year. Um, I did email them to confirm, but I, I picked up my project because I can't wait to tell you guys how much I love crocheting with this hook for the thousandth time. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen me um, crocheting with this hook on my channel. This is the primary hook that I use, and it's just, it's such a pleasure and a privilege to crochet with this hook. It's so nice. This is, it's, the price point of this hook is a little bit higher. Um, they were listed for $36 on the Furls website. You can find them on eBay for um, anywhere between $70 and $250 per hook, depending on which hook you're looking at. These hooks also come in 24 karat gold and rose gold in addition to the nickel plating on the hook. Um, this is a fragile hook. You shouldn't drop it. You do need to be careful with it. You don't want to bang it against your jewelry a whole lot because they will scratch, they will crack. Um, if you drop it, the handle could break off. It's. Um, I wish this was a more durable hook because my five millimeter is just so beat up that it needs replacing and I actually bent my 3.75 millimeter hook, which broke my heart because I do love these hooks so much. This is my favorite hook. If you were to ask me, what's your favorite hook, Sherry? It's the Furl's Odyssey, this one right here. I ended up purchasing this hook on Etsy as um, I just wanted to try it out to see how it would compare to the Furl's Odyssey 
because the Furl's Odyssey is being discontinued and there are hooks that are similar. Um, this hook is made of zamic and plastic instead of nickel plating and resin, um, but this is still a good hook. I tried this one out earlier today right after I received it and I really enjoyed crocheting with it so much that I didn't want to put my project down, which is exactly what you want in a hook. The seller of this hook is really great to work with. Um, they have excellent customer service. They actually contacted me with an issue that I didn't know that I had and they um, had a resolution ready for me and my hooks were ready to be shipped out pretty much the next morning after I ordered them. I ordered them I think Thursday night and they shipped Friday morning. This Zamic is almost as smooth as the nickel plating, but it's not quite as smooth. So if you were looking for a hook that had, it had the features of the Odyssey hook, but isn't quite as slippery as the Odyssey hook, this is probably going to be the hook for you. I really like this hook. This is... Probably going to be in my number two or number three spot. Um, the number two hook might be the prim hook, but it might be this hook. I have to get to know this hook a little bit better before I make a final decision on whether or not this is my... These two are tied for number two, I would say. And then in my number three spot, I would put the Furl Streamline. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this walk through my hooks. I know it took me a little ways to get through my yarn. Um, this is what my little swatch looks like. I will see you guys next time. If you liked this video or if you have thoughts on any of the hooks that I used, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, you guys. See you later.